Hello viewers, this is Tim Michael from Screw Reviews, bringing you a new podcast in my segment called The Stupid Kid Time of Year. But like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, I try to do my graphics great job during this audio podcast recording as well, not to cause any audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will retain to adult language. But again, this audio podcast be even this audio podcast recording will retain to adult language. If you're under 18, <laughs> This audio podcast recording will change to adult language. If you're over 18, then it's a good to watch this audio podcast recording. So anyway, with this as the out of the way, let's get into the latest episode of, of King Oja. So basically the episode starts off like this. We see we see Garen, uh, you know, at uh, at near sofa inside, you know, inside, you know, inside Jama's lab and we see we see, and we see, and we see, you know, rabbits in a, like a cage meant for a small animal dressed up in a robot to Queenie Gear. So basically, so basically, basically, Gear was like, you know, whoa, I understand your, I understand your, I understand that you still hold feelings to get against against what Wackless almost tried to do to you, but yeah, this is ridiculous. And basically, you know and basically Wackless is not complaining about it. You know, he's cleaning the gears while while dressed in a robot too and and Yama was like, you know <laughs> Yama was like, you know, was just you know, was just standing there just, you know, enjoying it enjoying the see you know, enjoying the see you see Rackless get married and and, and Garen said that, you know, we don't have no time to no serious shenanigans right now. Not right now. So basically, you know, we need to figure out, you know, and sooner or later, you know, Douglas gonna strike back against us. So basically, you know, he's gonna get, you know, after, you know, after, 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 you know, after we tried to kill him. So basically, he's gonna strike, strike against us, along with the other gestures. So basically, we need to figure out, figure out what we're gonna do to take Double down once and for all. And basically, like you know, well, and that's when you know. I I might have an idea, and basically that's what Rackless said. Like you know, and basically like you know, all right, over two thousand, you know, over two thousand years ago, over two thousand years ago, the the original key Oja defeated the Buffa on our planet, and basically they use a special if they use special powers, use a special power to order to defeat them, and basically like you know, like you know, why didn't why didn't you tell us tell why why didn't you tell us this? Tell this before, you know, for this, and you know, rap, uh, you know, rap is being like, you know, well, well, I want to, I want to, you know, you know, I, I'm well, I kind of slipped my mind at the time, at the at the time. So basically, I'm telling you guys now. So anyway, so basically, this power, you know, after. After the after the king after the previous uh, king Ogre defeated the Bugwa, Bugwa they sealed the power away and, and and basically and basically and items and and the and the and the royal items that represent each the the items that represent the rule of their of their leaders. So basically the Ogre crown, the Ogre the Ogre crown from from um, Sugarin, Sugarin, Yama's earring, Yama's earring that represents his rule of near sofa. Rita's necklace that represents her rule as the rule as the as the supreme of the, the supreme justice of Goki. Kagawa's necklace that represents his rule as he as Lord of Tofu and and Hemo's and Hemo and Hemo's and Hemo's necklace. I mean Hemo Tiara that represents her rule as Queen of Isabella. All these items. So basically, if you if you guys are able to access these items, you know they probably get they and and. And combine these power together, together they will they, they will get you the, that power that you guys need to defeat you know to defeat you know to defeat you know Dugwa and the Space Bugwa.
but you know, but but you need to unify these powers together somehow. So basically, you know, after hearing that, you know, Yama Yama could contact the others, you know, after you know, after what Rapids told them, and basically he said that you know, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to do some research on these items, you know, and figure out how to, you know, figure out how, how to unify the, you know, unlock their powers and unify these powers together. So basically, you know, and Rapids also stated that you know, well, maybe it would help. For you guys finally uh, finally having a leader could uh, can also help this issue as well. So basically, Rack, and basically like or well, and basically like you know, yeah, Yama had enough of you know had enough of Rack saying like you know and and you know and basically like you know don't forget I don't like you I don't trust you I don't trust you very much after you talk at you and uh, uh, died on you oh you. You almost let Dagger and kill me. So basically, you know, you know, I don't trust you that very well. But you know, but we, but we will have to. But you know, you, but you have been helpful. But I still don't trust you after after you uh, almost let Dagger and kill me. So basically, you know. You know, and basically, what they say at the time, you know, I was just playing my role at the time, or to get closer to double and whatnot, you know, to you know, get double I'm sorry for my actions, but you know, so basically, he bowed down to Yama and like you know, and said, "I'm deeply sorry for, for, for all the all, all the hard I caused you, caused you, almost tried to keep, almost let like, go on you, dog on." kill you and all that but you know I'm deeply sorry and sorry for that and y'all was like you know whatever and just you know and just walk away from Rackless. So anyway, meanwhile 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 at back at the space bug was you know universal room headquarters you know you know Hibiki and the others were glad was glad that you know that Douglas is back and whatnot but Douglas was not very kind to them so basically he was just pushing around and what pushing them out and you know and like pushing them around and you know using powers to attack them and whatnot and basically like you know what you know what it's time to it's time to clean it's time to 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 trying to clean up the uh, up this world uh, uh, trying to clean up the universe so basically I think it's time to it took it's time to the people of uh, of, of Terra to be added to my collection so basically we see in this we see this we see image of planets, you know, case in the in in amber in amber, and basically, I'd assume that all the planets that you know that you know, that Dogma has you know wait laid waste to, he did not destroy. He did not destroy the people. He must have been collecting the people from the planet that he laid waste to as well. So basically, he was like, you know, it's time to, it's time to bring the inhabitants of Terra and add them to my collection, and that was it. And and that was the last thing that Dogma said. And basically, you know. You know, and uh, you know, you know. After you know, after after that went down, we we go back to Sugarum, the Sugarum, and basically outside the castle, outside outside the front of the castle, we see Jiren, like you know, seeing the other or the Rangers outside, and with these balloons on their head, and basically, like you know. <laughs> Like, you know, like, you know, like, Gil is like, you know, what's going on here? So, basically, we're going to have ourselves a competition. Whoever is the winner of this competition is going to be the official leader of the of the King Ogre. So, basically, you know, so, basically, you know, Rackley was there. He was going to be the referee. So, the object of the game was to uh, each, each of the each of the six ranges will have balloons on their head. So, basically... Whoever is the last one with the blue, they're going to get hammered. So basically, whoever, you know, the object of the game is to pop, pop, uh, pop the blue or, uh, or a, uh, or the opponent's head. Whoever had blue on the head wins. So basically, you know, 
<laughs> so basically, you know, and basically give a fuck this is a little bit too serious, but he, like, you know, went, went along with it. And basically, the battle begun. So basically, Rita, Rita was finally get Jeremy, and basically went about to pop Jeremy's balloon, and somehow, somehow, somehow Jeremy managed to get a hold, use his spider web to get a hold of, you know, Rita's mini Marco doll that she keeps on her, her little mini Marco doll. And basically, like, you know, if you pop out the room, you know, the, the, the dog gets it. <laughs> so basically, like, something out of the con ear. <laughs> like, something out of the con ear. So anyway, <laughs> remember the rabbit phone, you know, remember Poe, you know, rabbit that he, that he wanted, you know, the rabbit that he had, you know, to get to his daughter's birthday today. That type of situation. And basically, Weeder was out, and basically, you know, uh, Weeder was out, and, you know, and Rocket said, Weeder's out, Earth uh, out of the running, and basically, you know, uh, and we see Kimo fighting against, against you know, Colorado, and Colorado, you know, using his trickery to, to trick Weeder not to pop his balloon, and basically, you know, using his trickery to... Mm, to uh, you know, using you know, using his trickery to you know, to get him or not the positive balloon, having the balloon with the faces of her parents and share and coach his service and whatnot, and basically you know. <sighs> And basically, like, you know, and he was starting to complain about this, and it's like, you know, this is cheat, this is cheating, but, but Gillen was the first one who got his balloon pop first. And anyway, after, after that, you know, he was close to saying that Kagawaga is cheating, and basically called Weeda, you know, <laughs> and, well, the object is to pop, uh, pop, you know, the object is to pop. To pop the other opponent's balloon, but you didn't really state the rules and basically for this contest. So therefore, the <sighs> let's do uh, let's get rid of this dumb contest. Whoever, whoever, let's do a different contest. Whoever the last fighter standing gets to be leader of the uh, gets leader gets to be the leader of you know gets to be leader of you know. Uh, uh, of the key uh, of the key older. So basically, you know, the all the way, you know, all the way, uh, all the all the way, except Yama and and Garen were fighting against each other to see who's going to be leader of the King Ogres. Finally, get the uh, the true leader of the King Ogres, and basically, Garen thinking like, you know, this is this is uh, this doesn't make any sense right now. And basically, he was looking down at the at the Sugar Kingdom. He, he had a feeling something is wrong here, and basically. That's when Yama, you know, demorphs from his ranger form. He demorphs and basically, well, well, this contest is over. I'm about to show you the power of my of my royal airing. So basically, Yama's airing that that is the symbol of his boot uh, uh, near sofa. He's able to access the power of the of his royal air. Of, of his royal airing, and basically, he generate thunder, uh, thunder from the skies, and basically, and force the other rangers to demorph and to give him flying off the castle down to the kingdom of Sugram. And basically, when, but lucky that Garen used his sword, you know, used his sword to break and fall, and basically used his old caliber to to decrease his fall to to the ground below, and basically. But he was finally hit ground. He saw that all the people were going crazy and uh, and be attacking each other while Gamer would get his item to 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 send thunderbolts and destroying the kingdom of Shira. And turns out it was all he was his fault. So basically, that's why the other Rangers are acting strange. So basically, most like we know that you know we know that you know that that Hibiki's hypnotic powers do not work on Kagawaga, or and now we know that you know Hibiki said that uh, I can't. 
and I can't leave you and take your and take your Douglas son, you know, my powers won't work my hypnotic powers won't work on you. And basically Carl you know, showed up and uh, it showed up and helped me you know, and help, you know, help gear now against Hibiki. So basically, like, you know, like I said, that, you know, Hibiki's hypnotic power does not work on Kaga either because he, the, the only person that he's loyal to is himself. So basically, that's the reason why you know, Hibiki's hypnotic power does not work on, work on Kagaraga. So basically, Kagaraga said, I can kill Hibiki, you go stop Yama from, you know, stop Yama. So basically, you know, Kieran got back to the castle, and basically, Yama was just, you know, was resting at the, at the power of his item, causing Thunderbolt and setting the, you know, you know, setting the kingdom of fire by, you know, using his his royal item to you know, to make Thunderbolts and whatnot that was causing fire throughout the Sugar Kingdom. And basically, you know, but uh, Gary managed to punch his sense into him and, you know, talk to him and punch his sense into him. Like, oh, look at this, man. Look at, look at what you're doing. You let him just power. You let him. I know you're under Hebe Key's control, but at the same time, you're letting your. You let, you're also letting the power of your item control you as well. And basically, you know, after seeing what he did, you know, trying to come to his senses, you know, you know, Yama snapped out of it. It's like, you know, like, you know, I'm sorry about this. You know, I'm sorry about this game. And basically, Eva Key used her hypnotic powers on herself to make her grow and, 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 hit, and to make her stronger and stuff like that. And basically, Yama and... Mm, Yama, uh, Yama and Garen formed the king of the Megazord and basically used the power of his, of his, his royal airing and the power of the Oza Crown to take down Hibiki once and for all. They did this combination with the power of the crown and and the power of Yama's earring that that was producing thunderbolts, thunderbolts, they was able to they was able to use that power and you know, and use that combine that power together with the key Ojo's you know with the key Ojo's sword attack and destroy Hibiki. So basically, after that, everybody came to their senses. He is now destroyed, and now we down to we down to free justice now. So basically, the the only the only members of the justice that are left are are Grody, Medico, and 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 Comagen are the only justice left now. Of of you know of, of King Douglas, you know. You know, five gestures. So basically, it's just, it's just, you know, it's just Grody, Grody, Minico, and 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 comedy are left of the five gestures now. Just them three. So anyway, so anyway, after everybody came to the senses and whatnot. So basically, you know, we see, we we see. We see, we see, we see Yama back at near sofa in his lab, where he still has, you know, where he still has, you know, he where where he has, you know, in, has Rackless in in that little cage, whatnot, cleaning gears and whatnot. So anyway, like you know, Yama was asking, you know, I know, like you know, during your whole. Crusade to trying to take down, to, trying to get close to Dagua and try to take him down. Did you let the? Did you let you? Did you let your? Did you let your? Did you let yourself get caught up in a power trip? Yes, I did. So basically, you know, I I admit I did let my. Mm, I get caught, got caught up in a power trip while I was trying to, while I was pretending to be a bad, pretending to be bad, in order to get close to to that. Well, I did, I did have a power trip. So basically, after you know, and I know that you know, after what you did, because of Hibiki, you know, you get got caught up in a power trip and whatnot, and you realize the things you know. Mm -hmm. 
and you you finally realize that you know it's not it's not always easy being a it's not it's not it's not really worth it to be the person that that rules all and basically like you know and, and Yama say you are right about that Rackus and he went to go to he went to go to Sugar Room and basically talked to Gary like you know he said and Gary that you know and basically Gary was like you know what's your, what's up Yama and basically Yama's friend I I think me I think that it's best for us not to not to pick a leader pick a leader for the the current King Ozers instead. Let all let all six of us work together as equals, and basically combine the power of our items together, and make sure that we are equal and and form a new alliance with all six of the current current King Ogres, and basically, and use that power to and, and unify that power together to take down Dugwa and the rest of the rest of, and the rest of his space Bugwa forces once and. So basically, you know, the other rangers showed up. They had the items, and it turns out that you know, it turns out that you know that that you know that you know that Jeremy, you know, Kumo Slayer Sword Morpher is also it's also kind of as a royal item that reckons to his rule of the bugger of the uh, or the bugger on Terra as well. So basically, they. They raised their swords in the air and basically with their items, with their word items going, they were able to unify their powers, to unify those items' powers and together, together send a, a powerful being that, that was felt, that, that, you know, that was felt from, uh, from or, or the, that was felt by Dunkle from his face. His space boom headquarters. He felt that power, power of the you know, of the uh, of the items finally being unified together with this new alliance to, between the current six King Ogres. While that was going on, we see we see Raptus in in the jail of in the jail of the castle of Sugarum, and we see and we see Susan Lop, you know, Kagura's sister, it's like you know, like you know, being being this dinner while Raptus was cleaning all his helmets and whatnot. So basically, like you know. Hmm. So basically, it seems like, you know, it seems like my brother and the other you know, finally got, you know, finally, you know, finally unified their powers together. So basically, well, well, well that has always been my, you know, so that's a good thing. So basically, Susan said that, you know, so you planned this. So basically, you know, you planned this. So basically, yes, I did. So basically, it's common sense. I didn't want to tell them you know, they needed to combine the powers together, you know, unless they, unless they generally or agreed to do it themselves. So basically, Raptus had put that plan in motion, like, you know, he said that, you know, he put, you know, you know he wanted them to really, really, Really figure out, to figure out how to work together as a team first before they unify the powers of the world items together, or, or or it would not work at all. So basically, like you know, Susan, Susan would say, you are a good person, mm -hmm. despite what, despite the things that you've done, you've done it for a, a reason. So basically, you you're still a good, you are still a good person to me, Rackless, and basically, and basically, after that, you know, after, you know, after that, then we cut to, we talk to Douglas headquarters, his universal space room headquarters, and he felt the power of power of the of the of the King Ogre's items and their own ages and how it comes together as one and basically he he was kinda it seems like he was kinda shocked at the at this turn of events and basically that's how the episode ended on this note. So anyway, this was a good episode.
So anyway, what do you guys think about this episode? Good, bad, or just okay? Please let me know in the comments below. Anyway, anyway, we still got uh, uh, this uh, this uh, uh, this series is gonna uh, it's gonna be fifty episodes. So basically, we still got we, can, we still got six episodes left to go uh, until the until the final episode of uh, uh, King Ozer. So anyway, just to let you guys know. Anyway, signing off. One.